Well, good afternoon and welcome to the 69th annual St. Patty's Day Parade. Jeff Dode and Mike Wasdala. Boy, we must have done something right. They asked us back again this year, brother. I don't know. Well, they must be hard up for people to do this job, but we certainly love coming, Jeff. And uh, not the greatest weather day we've had in the last few years, but we got a nice crowd out for the 69th annual parade. I am pleasantly surprised with how many people. Are. It's the first right of spring. I guess yeah. I shouldn't be shocked, but there are more people out today than I thought would venture. Wind chills in the 20. We've had some serious snow flurries, but it's the first right of spring, and we're going to start it off in style. All right, as we jump right into this parade, uh, the Department of Public Safety, Director uh, Caleb Rowell and Security Coordinator uh, Todd Armstrong, the lieutenant. The Department of Public Safety was created in 2013 and is a fully consolidated Department of Public Safety providing 24-hour law enforcement, fire, emergency medical service, they're a great group of people. Brian Murphy is the uh, public safety officer at Central. Leslie Darrow does the west side, and they are superb people to work with. And there's our good friend, Bay County Sheriff Troy Cunningham, devoted to keeping you safe, Jeff. Visit the county sheriff website to see many services provided to keep Bay County safe. And uh, something that's very familiar to Jared Doan, Station 4, just a couple of blocks down the street. <laughs> this young man can tell by the sound of the engine which one of the uh, five are coming in town, and he is tremendous with it. But, boy, they do a great job in conjunction, part of the public safety here in Bay City. And there's our uh, friends that are always in the parade, Jeff. Nice truck from uh, the Hampton Township Police Department making its way down Center Avenue. As uh, all the groups that are here today, including some of the older vehicles, the Frankenlust uh, Fire Department is uh, staffed with 16 firefighters right now, and the majority of the staff are trained in medical first response, and they've got certification as EMTs or paramedics being most of them. They're uh, fully modernized with four vehicles, two sets of Jaws of Life, and uh, Brian Kukla is that big man. City of Essexville Fire Department, uh, Jeff. Fire Chief Don Middleton doing his uh, great job over there in Essexville. And there's another fire truck from Hampton Township. And right behind that is the Bangor Township Fire Department. So we got them all covered today. Well, and it's nice because when you go to a big fire, Mike, you see these people working with each other and they'll call out and they'll make that second call and you'll get Bangor and you'll get Essexville and you'll get Hampton Township, you'll get Monitor Township and they all play nice together and uh, do a great job and keep our city safe. Well, Glenn Raleigh, the supervisor over there in Bangor Township, got the best seat in the house right there on that fire truck, Jeff, so he's in a great mood. Is, uh, some of them are actually going white now. That's Frankenlust That's Township. That's Frankenlust yeah. again. Uh, they have got the, the jaws of life. They've got a lot of EMT and paramedic done. And then we've got MMR as the largest geographic ambulance service provider in the state of Michigan with 17 counties served. It's owned by Ascension St. Mary's Covenant and Munson. It allows for critical resources to be shared among all of our many communities. So... Great to have them along and uh, followed up by MedStar right behind them, Mike. Yeah, Jeff, MedStar paramedics and EMTs provide the highest level of care available to 911 callers throughout nine counties in the service area. They provide the newest, safest fleet in the region and equipped all of our personnel and vehicles with a state-of-the-art clinical and safety equipment. They just did an $8.5 million investment and expanded the fleet in 2019. All right, and also uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors and donors. Let me pull this back oh. up right now as uh, we've got matching beauties here <laughs> thanks to your grandchildren. Yeah. They had no idea what they were doing for us. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Consumers Energy for being our Emerald sponsor this year, McLaren Bay Region for being the 2024 Shamrock sponsor, and thank you to Doubletree by Hilton on the River, Leona Local 1098, the Financial Edge Credit Union, Liberty Tax Loan, and uh, they're all green sponsors. 
Up next, we have Jeff. We have the uh, thumbprint for uh, their ki their kind services of printing, and here we go right back out to the parade, my friend. It's American Legion Post Number Two Thirty Nine is the nation's largest wartime nonprofit veteran service organization. They're based in Crump, and they include the Sons of American Legion, Auxiliary, and Riders. Ken Bowden is the commander up there in Crump. Well, Ken Bowden, he's been part of Pony League forever. Ken Bowden is just all sorts of things in the community. They've actually got it pretty nice uh, just sitting and uh, <laughs> doing the, the parade wave to one and all oh, yeah. on the way by. They got a few empty seats on that float right there, my friend. <laughs> so, All right. so somebody said, ah, a little bit too chilly today. Well, shirt sleeve weather today is provided by our friends at Tri City RV. We thank you for this a wonderful fifth wheel that they're doing and thumb printing for all your in kind services. Bay County TV and the crew for live streaming today. And uh, you catch that on YouTube, Facebook, and Spectrum 190. To myself, Jeff Doan, Mike Wasdala, Jared Doan doing the filming, Nick Page producing, directing, and Stephen Bauer Back upstairs again. making sure that everything <laughs> is running in style. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do we got cruising by here? And they're in a hurry to finish. Those are, they look like the food pantry, uh, Jeff. All right. Had a bunch of veterans on it also. As we come right back to us, we're going to continue with some thanks to the city and the Bay County officials and our public safety officers, Lieutenant Todd Armstrong. And there's Brian Murphy. He's my right hand at Bay City Central. He also does McGregor and Washington School in Hampton to make sure that all is well. And uh, he took over for uh, A.D. Mislewski, who did a great job for her three years there. And Brian has done a great job. You know, part of what they do is you just have to let kids know that you care. You know, we're normal people, that he's a regular guy. He yep. just likes to get to know kids and interact because most generally all the interactions you have are not good. Well, and you know, the thing is, those guys don't wear those uniforms 24-7. They have to take them off, go home to family and friends and kids and, and things like that. So they are a definite asset to the buildings, Jeff. Well, the uh, County of Bay for their help and cooperation through all of this. And thank you, placemats, for you. There's America, some more uh, golf carts, American Legion Post 289. And they're auxiliary, so they're uh, running a little bit behind schedule, but they're catching up. They're trying to get those things moving. Going to go off and uh, give some folks some American flags. And, uh, you know, those the legions are really, they do a great job all covering all sorts of spectrums, Jeff. They do a, a fabulous job. They give back, and uh, people are starting to recognize that there's needs from within those groups, and uh, people are really starting to step yeah. forward as well to uh, try and recognize the fact that they need help as uh, well. A lot of unsung heroes in there. They're not, uh, they don't make a lot of noise about it. They just go out and do a lot of great things in our community and outside the community. Also like to thank Titan Golf Cart for supplying the golf carts and to Nelson and Company Jewelers for their support and donations. First Press Church for their hospitality and Bay Metro for keeping the bands warm and the Parade Association members for their long-standing dedication and helping to organize and put on this <laughs> they parade. They a great job. We know, Mike, Boom. as we prepare, you know, especially Jan Rao, who puts the itinerary together for us, does just a tremendous job. Let's see who's turning in. Oh, our good friends Brandon Deacons is watching today. And Cal River. Cal River watching from California. Nice. So we're going worldwide. We've, Thanks, Nick. We've got the Marine Corps League of Bay and Saginaw County. The Corps was established in 1923, and their mission is to promote the interest and preserve traditions of the United States Marine Corps and to strengthen the fraternity of Marines and their families with patriotic uh, volunteerism. They've got 38 detachment communities across the state. They support Toys for Tots, and they raised millions of dollars for the youth of America. Just went by the Cass River Composite Squadron, Jeff. Civil Air Patrol Color Guard. Guard leaders are John and Beth Johnson. 
So as we have got the uh, parade rolling here and another one of our veterans walking down the street, Jeff. He's doing a great job. Oh, and he's going to be says, glad when it's over. He says, I'm walking to stay warm right now. And he's got a brisk pace going and uh, very nice to have them uh, take care of that as well as, uh, again, the uh, officers all the way through the parade route along with the uh, reserves are doing a really nice job of keeping the crowd onto the side to allow everybody to come down the middle of Center Street and you know, the uh, Department of Public Works for all their efforts yeah. and setting things up and barricades and the work they're going to have to do after. Where uh, There's just a whole lot of people there's, it takes to make it all work. It's a lot of work. You know, the people from the Port of Johns are, are on their game. We just, uh, just before we came on, we went over there and tested them out. And they're, they're always nice that they're so close for us. I think this is all part of the Cass River Composite Squadron as well. I think you're right. As uh, Wiley is out in front. Wiley and, uh, E? He, 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 Wiley E, has been a fixture Wiley. in this parade for quite a few as well. Wiley. You know, every time he falls off those cliffs, he sure does come back strong, doesn't he? Well, he's he's more than a cat. He's got nine lives in oh, one episode. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, he just hasn't learned his lesson yet, has he? And as we see some of the youngsters out today, too, and the uh, Always great to see the young people supporting the American flag and uh, just the youth and the general excitement of kids to be yeah. out for the first rite of spring. I still get excited in my 63rd year of life. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is 69 uh, years old, this parade, Jeff, and so I missed the first five, but I've pretty much seen every, everything after that. And we, I grew up real close, and uh, we live still close, and so it's been always been a great tradition. As we look now at... I think that's our parade, Marshall. It is. Uh, we're skipping down uh, past a couple of our spots here to Michelle Morin Hill. Her Irish heritage derives from her parental paternal, excuse me, grandmother Ella. She participated in the 1989 Queen Pageant and was crowned the Queen. Her uh, pageant experience is also memorable that her two daughters, Olivia and Ella, also participated in recent event pageants. So great to see her today walking and enjoying herself in this wonderful parade. Well, and they put a, a float together for Michelle and help her celebrate being the 2024 Parade Marshal, and that's going by right there, as you can see. So congratulations. As we look back and glowing again, thanks to your grandchildren <laughs> yeah. for making us look extra festive today we, during we, this parade. We had some special treats for them last night, so... Uh, Every, everything was being worn last night, taking it off for a test drive. So I thought, well, let's take something for Jeff and I. And, and uh, again, we got a little law in the parade, Jeff, but it's a little bit different than the weather we're normally used to. But all in all, like you said earlier, a great crowd. They're two, eh, three, four deep right here by us. But, uh, and then we got something special coming down the road as we can hear them coming. Well, we are going to just uh, enjoy them from afar and listen as they come by and play as it is the Grand Travers Bay Pipe and Drum founded in 1974. The Grand Travers Pipe and Drum have entertained crowds throughout northern Michigan. The haunting sound of the pipes, the crisp thunder of the drums, and the flash of the kilts today of unmistakable delight to the eyes as well as the ears. Let's enjoy them.
And you know, Mike, as oh. they pass, it takes a ton of breath to keep that bladder full so that you can yes. squeeze it to continue to get music out. They have to work and huff and puff down the entire route. I don't think there's a better sound. And what do we have here? We have queen in court. our queen, Johanna Elder. And I uh, know her from Bay City Central. She is a very, very great young lady. Proud to have her as queen. She was excited for the day. And uh, Alexia Malusi is there. And Caitlin is the second runner-up. And she is also here. Welcome. It's great to have you. <laughs> and uh, look at Chris Treleski up at the front there with the sign for the Emanuel Lutheran Church and School. Emanuel Lutheran began with a small group of German immigrants, Jeff, in 1861. They started on the corner of 6th and Madison. And humble beginnings, God has blessed Emmanuel with his words and sacrament. They're now located on the 10th and Lincoln. They have a church, a school, and a learning center for over a century and a half. They've been blessed to serve the community of Bay City. Ah, uh, yes. And Emmanuel means God with us, says Great to have them all here. And looks like we've got a great group of the Democratic Party well, yeah, coming just, right behind them. Just Miss Liberty Tax. They're a new all-green sponsor, Jeff. So get get real tax help from real people with real tax refund benefits. So Liberty Tax and Loan. As uh, we have got Kristen Rivett, our state senator. And uh, she is there along with the uh, commissioners as they all cruise through. And they don't get enough credit or no. praise at all, as well as the city officials coming right behind for all the work that they do. Very seldom do you hear, hey, job well done. It's uh, great to have you there. And it, uh, look at the... I'll uh, tell you what, we get Chris Gerard, Jim Barsha. They are... Weston Prince, the Bay, Bay City Treasurer. Yeah, that's a good-looking group right there. That is uh, a great group of folk, indeed. Good to see Mr. Barsha at the fireworks fundraiser a few weeks ago. Bill Jordan, uh, I knew Bill. Bill was on the school board at the ISD, Jeff. When I worked there, he really does promote the uh, vocational education and not a better spot to do it than our Bay Aranac ISD. Again, as the uh, county executives, the city commissioners, uh, the mayor, uh, that whole group went by, and uh, we're glad to have them part of this parade as well. This looks like Luna, the local 1098 St. Patrick Plades welcomes Luna. They're a new all-green sponsor. Luna is a construction union that builds our local communities. Uh, join Luna Action Network to get involved. It's your uh, union. Contractor partners with Luna Local 1098 because of the value of Luna members provide. So. Again, there's another great organization in the Bay City area. Next, we've got the IBEW Local 692, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. They proudly serve 19 counties in northeastern Michigan since 1937. They do a great yeah. job, and they are one of those groups that also give back year in and year out. And Fifi and little Fifi <laughs> are right into the parade <laughs> as well today. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the, here's the uh, Bay City Joint Electrical Apprentice Training Committee, Jeff. And so, you know, the trades are starting to get a little, little bit more popular, and, and kids are going into them with all the jobs and uh, the great pay available. Next, we've got WNEM TV5 News, Weather, and Sports online, on air, and in the community. Their coverage is great. Uh, welcome, Casey. Chris Eastlick was there as uh, first worn weather. Her first five first worn weather is wonderful as well and keeps us updated on the ever-changing conditions here as the <laughs> they, snow starts to fall. Yeah, those guys are always busy. <laughs> <laughs> is this state representative Tim Beeson, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken? Yep, no, nope, Bay, Bay, Bay County, County Republicans. Republicans, yep. Their mission is to elect Republicans at all levels of government in Bay County, to assist in the election of Republicans at the state and federal level, and to promote the conservative principles of the party 
Today we bring the Unity Ridge here. Our arms are open, so come in, find us on Facebook, Bay County Republican Party. Next up is Timothy Beeson. Tim was born in Bay City, Michigan, graduated from John Glenn in 1992. He's got a bachelor's degree from Saginaw Valley. Beeson's career experiences, quoting Owen Beeson's market, and he was just assigned to a very important committee, Jeff. He's on the House Appropriations Committee for the state of Michigan. That tells you that things are really starting to move forward after you've been there for a while. You get on some of these committees where you can do a little bit extra to make a difference in uh, your yep. own backyard. Tim's been around. That's a pretty popular name in the over there on the west side of Bay City. It is indeed. <laughs> and the Weiler family group is also walking with Tim Beeson and representing the foundation for a better mid-Michigan. Coming along next right behind them, Jim, or uh, Jeff, is uh, Bay County Road Commissioner Bill Schumacher. Bay County Board Commissioners consist of three commissioners who are elected by a majority of voting public. The Road Commissioners serve six-year staggered terms. Their compensation fixed by the Bay County Board of Commissioners and is paid from road funds. He's got a, bu a budget of about $17 million. The board holds regularly scheduled public meetings as well as frequent public hearings to communicate with county residents on a variety of road and safety issues. All right, now we have got the Civil Air Patrol, the Tri-City Squadron. The uh, commander is Andrew Anderson, and uh, we're really pleased to have them along with one of their vehicles in our parade today. As they come back to us, we can hear what's coming down the street. I can and see And they it. just got done playing their song, <laughs> but uh, they have been given special dispensation. Did you talk to them? Again. Oh, yes. We told them when they got to the corner of Center and Madison that uh, they're going to catch their breath and they're going to put on the show of all shows for us as that is coming up. <laughs> Who else do we got paying attention yeah, here? We got Elizabeth Austin. She's with, listening in over on Fremont Street, Jeff, Steve Beeson, and Crystal Marie. Thanks for tuning in, folks, and we hope you're enjoying the 69th Annual Bay City St. Patrick's Day Parade and... Today is actually St. Patrick's Day. It is. It falls right on it. It's my Peppy's birthday today. <laughs> That's so right. We celebrated on Friday at Super Grammy's house. How was that? I bet you that was rocking. Corned beef and uh, brisket <laughs> and had the uh, boiled dinner with it. So you oh. only rent that, but it's always good. Oh, well, She keeps <laughs> asking you back, doesn't she? <laughs> as we look on now, we see Christy Keenan as she is the long-standing director of bands at Bay City Central as... She comes down and let's listen. Well, there you go, folks. The oldest continuous marching band in the state of Michigan. This remarkable ensemble has a rich history and tradition contributing to the musical fabric of the community, the Bay City Central Marching Wolves. Boy, they are oh. a treat. I get to hear them every day from down the hall as I do my rounds at Bay City Central, and what a treat and a pleasure. Well, you know, I, I say it every year, you know, starting in August when you hear the band, you know what that means. School's almost ready, and football season's right around the corner. It is a thing of beauty, and uh, here's another very first familiar part of Bay yep. City Central's entourage as they do competitions or sometimes they go to away games and will perform at halftime and pregame and they toss everything in the back of that and away they go. That one's been around a long time, Jeff. Up next, right behind them is the Bay City Central homecoming court, King Brady Warsaw and Queen Alicia Davis. As the two of them, uh, uh, by popular vote, Get elected and Ooh. do a tremendous job of representing Bay City Central they, all over the Great Lakes Bay region they throughout look a the year. Little chilled. They are slightly chilled, and I'm sure I'll hear about it tomorrow. <laughs> Here's our friends Jeff from uh, USS Edson, located in the heart of the Great Lakes Bay region. 
of Michigan, the Saginaw Valley Naval Ship Museum serves our guests and local communities as a premier military and maritime museum. So that was a great addition to our community. Well, in the Naval Ship Museum, if I'm not mistaken, they just put into the Bay City Mall, the town center. And, of course, Mike Buda has a lot to do with that. And the only reason he has a lot to do with that is Sandy says, go and spend eight or ten hours at the boat. I need we, a break. We, already talk, we had that discussion with her at the fireworks. She's happy that boat came to town. All right. Now we have got St. Paul Lutheran School. The school preschool through eighth grade believes in the education of the whole child, academic, social, physical, emotion, creative, and spiritual. Their staff is a great group of dedicated professionals who value the opportunity to see that your child reach their God-given potential. If you need a place to stay in a warm cookie when you walk through the door, mm. you got to check out the riverfront. Hilt, Double Tree Hilton on the riverfront here in Bay City. That chocolate chip cookie is the best. And there's just a lot of neat things going on down there. So you come coming to Bay City, give them, a, give them a jingle. Well, we just had our fireworks telethon auction. You do the uh, Sports Hall of Fame banquet yep. there every year. They do a great job. Uh, the Saginaw Basin Land Conservatory is a nonprofit organization that restores and permanently protects natural areas through land acquisition and preservation agreements. The purpose is to enhance the quality of life in the Saginaw Bay watershed through the improved water quality. Frankenmuth Credit. You know, this is the festival, Jeff. Mm hmm. Bavarian Festival. Princess probably represents Michigan's or Frankenmuth's German heritage. During the summer months, the princess in the court wear traditional German garb directly imported from Bavaria. Everyone is invited to come and kick off your summer June 6th through the 9th at the Frankenmuth Bavarian Festival. And they invite you to fill that oh, piggy boy. full of change. <laughs> That's a tall task, but you got to start sometime. That's the Frank and Muth Credit <laughs> Union right there going by. And uh, one of our uh, parade sponsors right now is Consumers Energy right now. They are the Emerald sponsor as they cruise through uh, with one of their great trucks and a float right behind it. They do a fantastic job, Jeff. When, uh, when we need power, it goes out. They're all over it. They've been around for many years they have 6.7 million of the state's 10 million residents and their employees care for the communities we serve and we work hard to take care of bay city and all of michigan's friends and neighbors because they live here too that is awesome then we've got the nsl center for children a nonprofit foster care and adoption agency serving multiple counties throughout michigan including the Great Lakes Bay region. Consider opening your home to a local child in need of a placement and be a foster parent. Next up is the Haunted Slaughterhouse, corner of Cass and Pine Avenues, open every Friday and Saturday in October, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., and is even larger this year with more room. So come through if you dare. Howard McLean, look at Howard. He said he had something special for the parade this year. <laughs> Howie, you outdid yourself there, brother. It's looking like it's nice, and this really is a great haunted house the way it's coming. The Bay City Theater uh, presentation, Grease is coming next week to the Bay City Public Schools at Bay City Central. They feature Central Western and Handy students upholding its four pillars. Opportunity, passion, community, and education. Jared Kaufman doing a fantastic job with that as well as many of the youngsters that I see on a daily basis at Bay <laughs> well, City Central. Well, just walking there. halls. You don't see them in your office just walking halls. Yeah, never in the yeah, never right. in <laughs> Next, we got 97.3 Joe, Joe FM at work, 80s and more for your listening pleasure. Boy, that is around. the old, old 97.3 Wixie that used to be out there on Tuscola way, way back in the Boy, day. Boy, that's back when we had black hair. <laughs> well, had hair, period. Yeah, yes. right. <laughs> Next up is the Montrose Blueberry Festival, Queen Allison Munson and Court Zoe Haven and the 2024 Court. From its humble beginnings in 1972 until today, the Montrose Blueberry Festival has become a recognized symbol of community, volunteerism, and spirit. Hundreds of volunteers give countless hours each year to guarantee that success. And I'll tell you what, fresh blueberries, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. And it's 45 minutes away. It's close. It's <laughs> yeah. very convenient. like to take a minute to thank some of our great sponsors, the Consumers Energy, for being our Emerald sponsor this year. 
McLaren Bay Region for being the Shamrock sponsor. And Doubletree by Hilton on the River, Leuna Credit, or local 1098 Financial Edge Credit Union, Liberty Tax and Loan, and they are our all-green sponsors. Well, we got some more li- listeners. Lindsay Ann Godfrey is one, Holly Martin, Jennifer Rangel, Josh Sherrill from our friends out there at the Excited, Excited Goat Coffee. When they get their float comes, I'll let you know a little bit more about that. David Bryan, Cops and Donuts, and... Oh, boy. Some save big the, people. Woo, we're going to save the best for last. <laughs> Hi up there. Hello, Michelle Cooper. How are you? In the burbs of beautiful oh, Bay City. absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, if you get a chance to check out that excited goat right over there on the corner of Pine and Center, check that out. And then right next door, and we'll talk about them a little bit later, KG's Bistro, one of the newer exciting places to eat here in Essexville and the Bay City community. Well, and you've sampled it, too. I have. So you're I saying have. from firsthand you yep. like it. Kyle and the gang out there do a great job at the Bistro, so make sure you show them some love and give them some business. So people are looking right now, and they're going, Jeff, it's in the 20s out there with the wind chill. What in the world are you doing in short sleeves? Oh, Tri-City RV provided us this great heated fifth wheel. It ain't 20 in here. It is 70 <laughs> in here, and it is a thing of beauty. And uh, sitting next to my best guy, everything is I don't warm up beautiful. anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Tri-City RV, and also Thumbprint for your in-kind services. Of course, Bay County TV, uh, headed by Nick Page for all that he does. He uh, directs, edits, produces, does it all, and allows you and I, along with Jared Doan, and, of course, Stephen Bauer upstairs up in the uh, pillar. Pushing. Up there making all oh. the right buttons. <laughs> Indeed, he does. So thank you, Stephen, for your efforts. And the city and county officials, public safety, Lieutenant Todd Armstrong, the coordinator for keeping us safe during the parade throughout the year. Also, a big thanks to the uh, County of Bay for their help and cooperation. Thank you for uh, placemats for you, Titan Golf Carts for supplying the golf carts, Dave Nelson and the Nelson and Company Jewelry for their support. Thank you, First Prez, for your hospitality. A big, big thanks to uh, Bay Metro for keeping those band t- uh, kids warm and the instruments warm. And a huge thank you to the Prade Association members for their longtime dedication to organizing and putting on this parade 69 years strong and people have no idea the amount of work that goes into it incredible uh, all we can do is say a hearty thank you for all that they do to help make this uh, continuous event there were a few years where uh, we were in jeopardy of not being able to continue but we had 145 entries pay to get in. We've uh, dropped back to 136, and maybe uh, as of the start of the parade, a couple less. But that is a very, very exciting. There's Uh-oh. Bonnie Big Cat Oswald. <laughs> he is part of that great uh, group called Deutsch American National Congress. It's a Great Lakes Bay Region German Club. Find free German TV, radio, geon- genealogy, cooking recipes, all on the website, dank.org. There is one dude that is seriously proud of his heritage. I saw him going into Kroger the other day. I grew up with uh, Monty Big Cat Oswald and watched him through his boxing career and uh, just loves to give back to the community. Of course, their family has the Big Bear Ranch up in Newberry, and uh, that's a great place to visit as well. And Great Lakes Loons, Jeff. Yes, with the loons, we're decked out from the smokestack to the cow catcher and shimmering gold and green. Louie Entertainment Loon, presented by Mid Michigan Health, landed in the Dow Diamond area on August 25th, my brother's birthday, in 20 not six. He's been on the shorelines of Lake Huron near Tawas Point, <laughs> relocated to Midland as the announcers there he is the dub and the ambassador of the area he is a who he is a lot of fun and what a great place dow diamond if you want to talk about family fun that's the place to go you got to check it out it's reasonable entertainment yes. and they put a good product on the field they as certainly well. do Denny's Collision, 1955 buick century riviera restored by denny's collision out there in call Colin was the fastest production car build in USA in 1955. In business since 1982, 
And the mini fold features Danny's wife and the family dogs, but I don't think they made it today, so they just brought the car. Danny brought the car, and uh, we're going to listen to some entertainment, and we'll talk about them in just a minute. Scottish Pike Band, uh, keeping the Scottish tradition alive in Michigan for over 100 years. Their performances include parades, stayed performances all over the region, as well as the Michigan Renaissance Festival, which is also a great, great event. Up next, Jeff, is our good friends from the ancient order of the Hibernians with its motto, Friendship, Unity, and Christianity Charity Stand, not only as the oldest Catholic lay organization in America, founded in 1836. And there's some familiar faces right there. Uh, Sir Donald uh, Tilly yeah. is part of that group, and he'll tell you 39 more days till he retires. Not that he's counting at well, City Central. I wouldn't count mine either. <laughs> and uh, along with the Hibernians, the uh, Mitchell Motor Coach also comes along and uh, helps them out every year to keep them inside and having fun and warm. You no know outs I saw then there. Larry Sullivan was in there, Gary Phillips. So. Hey, up next, Be McLaren Bay Region. St. Patrick welcomes its in-kind sponsor and thanks them for their services to us. The float was constructed with our patients in mind. We are incredibly honored to serve this wonderful community and the people in it. We are truly lucky to care for you. I, and I, I will vouch for that, my friend. Uh, we both had a visit in there <laughs> last year yeah. and can vouch for what a great job they continue to do. And... Jeepers Creepers, where did you get those peepers? The Bay City Jeepers are coming by, brother. <laughs> it's a new uh, group. It didn't take you long. It only took you about 40 <laughs> units to get into it, brother. Go ahead. Take it away. It's a group formed by and for local Jeep enthusiasts. All the Jeep owners are welcome, not just Wranglers. Existing members from all over the Tri-Cities are planning family-friendly events. Come and visit Bay City Jeepers Facebook for more information. <laughs> I was about ready to start in the song when you started talking about the Jeepers, creepers, where'd, where'd you get, get those peepers? peepers? Okay, at no extra <laughs> cost, you get, that's about as much as we know of the song, but it's a good song. <laughs> oh, boy. And they, uh, they've got, they got quite some, a contingent here. They got some nice looking vehicles there. They, uh, those are tough, too. You can, you can beat on them, and they'll take it. Well, and you can tell by looking at them that they uh, are built up with some heavy-duty parts, and uh, they may occasionally enjoy a little off-road excursion with Just some of those. Just a skosh once in a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. As they're coming down the street right now, our next one looks like Best Bail Bonds is a local, fast, and affordable. It's, uh, they serve the entire Lower Peninsula. Let us help you and your loved ones at a time of need. Just call Best, and they'll handle the rest. Apex Dumpsters, if you, it's your trusted partner for hassle-free waste disposal, quality dumpsters, fast, reliable service, and affordable solutions for all your cleanup projects. We are locally owned and operated. And the best bail bonds is right on the trailer, Jeff. They're on the back half of that, so it's almost like a two-for-one special. Well, it was we a 41 and a 41A. Hey, ah, oh, Arthur man. Fonzarelli. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> so the uh, Apex uh, Dumpster Rentals are showing you a little rent me there, and that's a nice residential-sized dumpster that they offer, and that's nice because that's got a dumper on it, and it just uh, electronically goes up and pst, Yep, Dump I've, the load. I've rented those before, Jeff, for cleaning up and stuff. Really, they're not very expensive, and, you know, they'll leave it there, and then when we get it all filled up, they'll come and pick it up. So it's a, it's a good investment if you have some big uh, stuff to get rid of. 
As uh, we look up next, we've got something especially for the summer. If, if you've got a kid's party for a very affordable price, you can put one of these in the backyard. Nobody happier to go to a party than mom and dad and see one of these big bounce houses. A couple hours in the bounce house. You and ever the been kids, in one? Yeah, yeah. They're oh, yeah. You go about six <laughs> blocks on the way home, and the kids are out like a light, and mom and dad are excited. We'll take the long way home because Sonny's sleeping still. <laughs> It's locally owned and operated, and it's the best price in town. Check out our new arrivals for 24. Book them now and bounce the style for all your events. Who's in the house? <laughs> it's Elvis. Oh, my. It's a thing of beauty. I thought he was gone. I think the last time they saw me was in Kalamazoo working at a Burger King. Friends from Bailey's Bar over there on the uh, west side, Jeff. And uh, that's been around a long, long time well, and at Bailey's of, Bar. And they put one of those outdoor patios yeah. on like a lot of people. And really nice in the summertime to sit out in the evening and enjoy the fresh air and have a cold one. Yep, those are those are really nice. And here comes another one of our favorites. It's the Bay City Western Marching Warriors. Their goal is to help our students reach their full potential, both musical and with life skills. They encourage self-reliance, practice, friendship, and fun. Dustin Vandeveer used to be at Thomas Lincoln Handy Middle School. Now he's out uh, taking things happen and making it happen at Western. We're hoping that we might get a little song from him. They're doing a great job marching, but... Cure he. Oh, yes. Boy, they've got a great fight song, too. I uh, I really enjoyed my time working out there and uh, coaching out there with a bunch of great dudes and what and a good good staff. Judy Cox is the principal out there. So John uh, Folsom John is still Folsom. there. Yep. Uh, we They're, hope for another few years. They're uh, talking about having an end date. I haven't heard one yet, but uh, they just have done a great job at the top. Our out good at friend Chris Willards. Yep. Football and there's coach, their and teacher. Yeah, he's he's fantastic. And there's their trailer when they go away, go to competitions. Uh, uh, invaluable piece of equipment. Uh, boys, well, Western's boys varsity. Yep, the basketball team and float. Uh, it offers competitive basketball program. And uh, P.J. Weaver, another former Thomas Lincoln Handy coach, now out at Western and did a really nice job, job this year, this year yep. in the SVL and through the year in the program. Got some others listening. Sarah Pelton, Caitlin French, Linda Young, Ellen Visser, Tammy Reyes, Sherry Wagner, and April Douglas all tuning in, Jeff. Sherry Wagner, that's over from the fruit port area that they're making <laughs> That's a things long ways happen. away. And here we've got the Munger Potato Festival Queen, Ashlyn Wolfsheiger, and a runner-up, Alexis Wheel, and Susie Schultz. The festival is uh, July 25th through the 28th of this year and is always a good time. Yeah, that's a good one. Next up, Jeff, Team One Credit Union is proud to announce its recognition by Newsweek and Plant A Insight Group as one of America's best regional banks and credit unions in 2024. This prestigious award acknowledges Team One's unwavering commitment to delivering service excellent to its valued membership. They uh, took over 35,000 indiv 35, individual feedback and 140,000 reviews, and Team One stood out amongst its peers, setting the standard for ex exceptional service, community engagement, and quality products. They're always in the parade. Yes, indeed. They do a great job. Kicking in the mitten, LLC is a line dance group and DJ business. They offer private lessons, private group lessons for parties, and they form DJ J services for any occasion. Find them on Facebook. It's kicking in the mitten. <laughs> that's a big deal. That's a, that's a big deal. And look at the cluckety cluck here at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's full of juice. <laughs> Next up is the Bay City Lions have probably been supporting our community for over 100 years. Leo the Lion is leading the Bay City Lions on the float. Lion Tag Day is coming up April 26th and 27th. This is the club's best fundraiser of the year and helps support our mission of helping others with sight and hearing needs. Steven Goss on the front was of the Was he on there? Vehicle. I didn't see him. Old Rico is uh, taking pictures of us, taking pictures of him. So that's a turnabout is fair play. <laughs> 
He's a good dude. Oh, he is all over town, too, and it's great to see. How about next? The uh, Cub Scout Pack 3018, sponsored by the Bay City Lions. The Cub Scouts, often shortened to Cubs, are a selection of scouting operated by the Scout Association with a core age of 8 to 10 and a half years of age. They began in 1916 as little wolf cubs, and they gained their current name in 1966. The Jungle Book is also called Cub Pack. Hey, does your garbage have you moody? No. Well, you better call Canuti. Ah, perfect. Seven days a week delivery, one of the newer companies in town. Canuti Dumpster Rental. So another, I'll tell you what, if you can get one of those, your job will be a lot easier. And it's nice, too, because if you're doing a roof or something, too, and uh, you just put a little slide down from your roof, it uh, makes the cleanup a lot better. It is uh, it is a good investment, my friend. Looks like Fifi's coming down the road, too. And we have got Couple just Fifis. A ever so slight breakage in the parade as the Dog Scouts of America are here. <laughs> I didn't know they had Dog Scouts of America. Well, they're celebrating over 28 years, a nonprofit organization dedicated to positive training and teaching dogs to be model canine citizens. Mm. That's nice. The dogs enjoy many activities while working towards badges and earning new skills. They strive to give their dogs full lives. Troop 101 and 217 of Eastern Michigan wish everybody a happy St. Patty's Day and look at what we got here. <laughs> Fifi is all adorned. <laughs> she looks good, doesn't she? Yeah, it is. Just a beautiful thing. This, this one's going, well, hey. Who's, who's walking the dog? Is yeah. the dog walking her? Or is she walking well, the dog? Well, the dog just says, hey, I smell heat. Let's go into that 28-foot <laughs> Tri-City RV fifth wheel and warm things up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smart dog. Yes, it is indeed. Right behind our uh, four-legged friends, Jeff, is something that is just absolutely booming here in Bay City in the summertime and a little bit in the fall. The Sunrise Pedal Trolley is now booking for the 2024 season on sunrisepedaltrolley.com. They come down my street all the time, and it's nothing but a gas. Well, and they run at least three sessions on the weekends and two during the week <laughs> try and book them they oh, are booked solid and they are a ton of fun uh we've got the boy scouts of america troop 108 158 and 3113 of essexville in conjunction with the saginaw spirit have been at the parade consecutively now for 20 years Stop by to sign up and join the fun. The Saginaw Spirit would love to see you at an upcoming hockey team. The first oh. place Saginaw Spirit, who have set records for home wins in a year and total wins, are on fire and hosting the Memorial Cup this year. And you want to talk about family entertainment. You take the family there, I guarantee you, you're going to have a blast. We went a couple of years ago with 12 of us, got a suite. Man, did we just have a blast. Well, it's run by an All Saints yeah, graduate, okay, right. Craig Goslin, and uh, he knows how to have family-friendly yeah, fun. He certainly does. Garpio Group, Jeff, we provide exceptional landscaping services with exceptional people and want to be the landscaping firm people depend on for quality work performed by professional craftsmen while inspiring our team to develop and grow. Flourish Therapy is now partnering with the Bay Aranac Behavioral Health to provide autism services in Bay County and a new Bay County location and will be opening in the fall of 24. They haven't told us where it is oh, yet, but okay. we'll, as soon as You'll we find out, we'll share we, it. We don't let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Next up, one of my all-time oh, favorite oh, oh, weekends oh, oh. on June 27th through the 30th, the St. Stan's Athletic Club Polish Festival, the biggest Polish festival in the state of Michigan, June 27th through the 30th. Let's listen. You are the queen of, oh man, the queen. That's why. How's the way? Uh, Roll out the barrel. You know, and now it's fun for you, brother, the next generation you get to bring and teach <laughs> yeah. them how to do it right uh, at St. Stanislaus. I think I do a good job of it, Yes, too. you do. You lead by example. <laughs>
All right, next we've got Myers Great Lakes. A 1936 Chevy stake rack is a replica used by Hendrick and Fred Meyer to transport groceries to their first stores, which opened in Greenville, Michigan. It's a family-operated company since 1934. Myers, both on the east and west side, both flourish here in beautiful Bay City. It looks like store 187 is where some of these folks are from. Not sure what store that is, but uh, you want anything, you go in the mire and uh, they'll have it for you. Michigan uh, Cinderella, teen Morgan Winchell. Gear up for the magic at the 2024 Michigan Cinderella State Finals in Fremont, a week where dreams come true, crowns await, and stars are born. Serve a pair, or serve a pure, excuse me, carries a large assortment of water purification systems, water filters, and filtration products covering a variety of applications. It is a great place. They've got cartridges, ultraviolet systems, reverse osmosis membranes. Too. What? I didn't know they carried such <laughs> I a didn't thing. even know you could say it. <laughs> well, I was lucky. I, I read it over a couple of times in practice. <laughs> And next we have got the World Apostolate of Oh, we got the, the women suffragettes, Jeff. Oh, okay. Get out the vote because every vote counts. On August 18, 1920, the 19th Amendment to the Constitution was finally ratified, enfranchising all American women and declaring for the first time that they, like men, deserve all the rights and responsibilities of citizenship. And hello to Linda. And it took nearly 100 years to win that right, Jeff. So that's a nice group. Well, they said it was worth the wait. So that is a that beautiful thing indeed. I think now we've got yep. the World Apostolic of Fatima. They encourage people to pray for our government and our church leaders and healing and for world peace. So great uh, organization and great to see that they're part of our parade today as well. They're uh, kind of like almost right in the middle of the parade, Jeff. So they all got smiles on their face. And the, in the, as usual, the wind's coming right down Center Avenue west to east. So it's it's like a tunnel come, where that wind is in right now. And we've got Michigan Sugar Company. How sweet it is. Michigan Sugar is proud makers of Pioneer Sugar. The queen is Cassie Aker. And the court attendants, Kylie Speakerman and Maria Iveza, as the Michigan Sugar has been making life sweeter since 1906. Why? And I'll tell you what, it's uh, that's a that's a booming uh, thing going on out there, complex out there, Jeff. Every time you look around, they're adding something to uh, to that complex. So congratulations to them. Well, and before we come back to us, Jared is uh, cruising down at that. It's the Bay City Public School Bus Program. Take a great opportunity to join in a trusted group of bus drivers. Apply today. Now, Mike... Unlike when you were transportation director, they've moved so far forward. Instead of one camera on a bus, we now have yep. three cameras on a bus. Why do I know that? Well, we have to occasionally <laughs> look at the cameras on the bus because we have a tenth of a percent of people that sometimes don't always behave themselves. Well, on and the bus. I also let you know, too, Jeff, that uh, there's cameras on the outside of the bus now. And so what's happened, we have got a kind of a major concern in the country where folks are running those red lights so the cameras will be able to watch who's running the red lights they got them inside they've got them outside so uh the safest vehicle in america right now is that black and yellow school bus and there's a uh, beautiful bluebird number 24 jeff boy they got it all cleaned up looking good well and the thing is unlike yesteryear they are being very well paid lately to step up and to make this happen so uh, tell me about the lines on the side of the bus brother we got it's three floor, lines floor there levels it's seat levels all right so we got the feet the seat and the head level yep. as uh, we look now and uh, who do we got to thank here that's uh, watching from afar well i'm going to uh, Nick writes like a doctor, so I'm going to try to get these as best I can. Joyce Grizak, uh, Maria Mouth Van Halen, uh, Jerome Allen, Michelle Marie, Julie Osick Stevens, Mary Gilbert Krause, Cheryl Barsha, 
Sh- is it Shy Griffin and Linda Ladorsher? 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 Hey, we got a whole bunch of people listening. Do we know where they're yeah. listening from at all, Nick? They're from Hither and they're from Hither. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From there and <laughs> one was Ohio. One was Ohio. Well, and some of the people obviously know that it's cold today, so I think our listenership is going to be, viewership will be really up this year as we thank our folks uh, again from Titan Golf for supplying golf carts, Nelson and Company Jewelers for their support, First Presbyterian Church for their hospitality, Bay Metro keeping the buses uh, on site and the bands warm, and the Parade Association members for their longtime dedication to organizing and putting on this great parade. There's our, uh, there's your friends, Jeff. As uh, they are at the corner right now, and it has gotten just a, a tad bit chilly as uh, they're standing over there right now wishing that uh, they could get in out of the cold. I offered them a spot in here if they needed a minute to come and uh, warm up, and they said that they're dressed for the occasion. They're used to being outside, and on this side is, of course, Brian Murphy, who I work hand-in-hand with at Bay City Central, and he's the public safety officer there. And, again, I just love the way he and Leslie Darrow interact with kids, letting them know that they're not bad people, and, and when they approach them to uh, not be quite as nervous or uptight about what's going on, we'll find a way to get through yeah. it. And we made a mistake. We're going to learn from it, and we're going to move, move on. forward. Put it in the rearview mirror. There's a reason the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror, my oh, friend. Oh, yes. The river of time <laughs> coming up right now with that new location change, brother. Yeah, the river of time teaching Michigan history for over 30 years. They are a nonprofit organization that will take you back through time to early American days and lead you up through as far Vietnam and Desert Storm. Come see us uh, this September at their new home, the Johnson Pumpkin Farm. That's going to be a pretty cool place to have that. That is, and the thing that they found with it being out there last year, they are drawing a lot more thumb interest than they used to get in Bay City. So their numbers actually went up last year. As uh, they're going to put on a little uh, presentation, and ah, oh, the third one from the end, Sullen and McInerney's back for the <laughs> multiple times that now uh, this parade has gone on. He's got the shades on, and he's just always oh, yeah. happy. Long term, long time friend from uh, Covenant Healthcare in beautiful Saginaw, Michigan. That's a uh, that's a fun time, and it's. Uh, you know, even if you don't go, uh, you go out there for the pumpkin farm, then come out a few weeks later and check out the River of Time. That pumpkin farm is a riot. They've got the best donuts. Oh, they make them right in front of you. Apple cinnamon, Ooh. apple cider donuts. Goodness oh, gracious. Boy. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, talking about hungry, how about Heidi's Darn Good Cookies mm, brought they us? They are a darn good. <laughs> you know, Mark and his wife, let's see, Heidi's Darn Cookies. What's his wife's name? Um, I think it's Heidi. How many guesses do I get? <laughs> <laughs> so we thank them as uh, they think of us every year uh, during the parade, and we appreciate that. Beckyel Taekwondo Academy offers traditional, safe, fun martial arts classes. Find them on Facebook. For more information, that's Bekeel Taekwondo. Up up next, Jeff, something near and dear to my heart, the All Saints Catholic Elementary School. At All Saints Catholic, we're growing a generation of with courage and compassion. The means our students are ambitious and conscientious, great speakers, careful listeners, engaged in the classroom and their communities. Well-rounded students become successful adults. And the Cougar was walking, too. Oh, Just got it? underneath Jared's camera, so he I couldn't see, see him. him, but... It was uh, wonderful having them out today as well. Next, I think we've got the Mid-Michigan Sting, a youth basketball organization empowering youth athletes by the tenacious pursuit of self-improvement and the genuine desire to motivate players with determination, patience, and with passion. Yep, basketball is a uh, good thing when these kids are out there playing, Jeff, and uh, Looks like a good group, and they're having a lot of fun here today. 
And then we've got the Dominowski family float partnering with mid-Michigan AAU team celebrating sports and family participation. I just did a big three-on-three -three basketball tournament in Frankenmuth on Saturday, and this uh, is the time of the year where this kind of stuff with the traditional seasons ending are really cranking it up. And this again is the Dominowski family float. Next up is the Bay County Bookmobile. The Bay County Library System has four branches and a bookmobile to serve the community. Reading is fun, so let's get involved. So happy St. Patrick's Day from the Bay County Library System. Reading is fun -de -mental. The mental. <laughs> yes, indeed, we uh, do. Uh, we go back. That's an oldie. I'll tell you, conjunction junction days going back that far. <laughs> What is your function, Ooh. brother? I think people are uh, still wondering what our function yeah, is. Yeah, they're never going to solve that problem. <laughs> oh, we've got Dolny RV Center next, making camping fun since 1971. This is a 28-foot striker toy hauler. What these businesses are starting to do now, you rent this for the weekend. Say go to State Park. They bring it out, they set it up, they level it, they secure it. You come and sit in it and enjoy it for the weekend. You leave at the end of the weekend, they come and pick it back up and take it back home. Five minutes out of town, it feels <laughs> like you're up north. And we uh, we gave one of those away at the uh, fireworks festival yes. to, uh, fundraiser. So took it out to Bay City State Park, and you get to go out there for the weekend. Yes, that is awesome. That is really cool. Up next, Boys and Girls Club of Great Lakes Bay Region. We provide a safe place for virtual learning, play, homework assistance, STEM activities, literacy, meals, snacks, mentorship, and just pure fun. Gib Garcia is now yeah. the big cheese oh, at the he? Boys and Girls Club. And it's great for Gib because he and his brother Tony grew up there as kids. So for them to be able to come back and uh, give back in a leadership role, uh, Gib I worked for many years at Bay City Central with, a great human being. If I'm not mistaken, he was on the ba in the baseball program He for was a while. baseball coach for yeah. many, many yep. years. Yep. That's a great place. That Boys and Girls Club has been around for a while. Boy, more. Caitlin Chichek from Indiana, Kathy Davies from Colorado, and Mary Mockelstrom from North Carolina. Auburn Glen Highland dancers performing traditional and choreographed Scottish and Celtic dances <laughs> as they compete around the state. They're a family-friendly dance studio and encouraged to perform to their own personal best. How about uh, Erica Lukowski, Cindy Berhula, Brent Bismarck, Michelle Wright, listening in, watching in from Flint, Sherry DeLeon. I know Sherry, Janelle Hargraves. She's down in a little bit place warmer in Florida. And Susan Meyer is up in Linwood Beach. Thank you all. I'm sorry if I butchered your names, but I will try to do better next time. Well, we got the Bay, 1400 AM, 104 FM, 92.3. Continue with Soft Rock. Just missed uh, the Miss Michigan Elementary and Junior High. It's a delightful pageant that celebrates young ladies, uh, pre-K to six, as uh, they went by. And uh, now we've got a high energy group from, I believe, Thomas Lincoln Handy. Area's best carpet cleaning and handy middle school and cheer palms. Palms is a fun sport that can be learned by anyone who is willing to try. We can teach you everything with Area's best carpet cleaning, which has a clean cut and uniform crews with plenty of experience and has super stain fighters working quickly and quietly, leaving it positively clean. Ah, next we have a favorite spot of yours and mine, Grandpa Whoa. Tony's Family Restaurant on Columbus Avenue. They wish everyone a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day. Follow them back to 1108 Columbus Avenue for their delicious specials. Remember that Grandpa Tony's always has a way Whoa. with L-A-S-A-G-N-A. -A -A. That's not bologna, that's <laughs> lasagna. Uh, and, and that's good lasagna, Yes, too. it is. Love it. Oh, that's a that's a nice place. They've been in the community a long time. We're gonna listen to the band. All right, Doug Law, the uh, band director. They march, play, twirl flags, drill moves. Most of all, were kids coming together by a love of music 
and being part of something bigger than themselves. So we got to have them in the band. Uh, we got some great marching bands in this community. And they also have one of those yeah. uh, trailers that uh, bring all their instruments, and uh, that works today, too, because you can't put the tubas on the bus when you come across. No, <laughs> you can't do that. That's illegal. <laughs> the bluebird can't Ooh. handle the tuba. No. <laughs> you want that thing flying around. So we've got the uh, Varsity Palm and Mini Palmers uh, coming up as the homecoming court is there right now as... Uh, they look like they're striving to stay warm as well on this great day. And they got a vehicle donated to them from Thrayland Chrysler Plymouth Dodge out there on Euclid Avenue in the beautiful west side of Bay City. So they were hoping for upwards of a hundred young people, uh, little palmers today, but obviously the cold in the weather had dictated some of that, so... Who we got now? Oh, Mayor Cashy Newtham, Newsham and TJ Newsham are watching. All the way from Carlton, Michigan, Natalie and Cody. <laughs> Natalie Doan and Cody Brown. Sharon Thompson and JJ Racing down there in beautiful Indiana. That is just a thing of beauty. All those people that decided not to brave and, you know, my grandson Bobo, the dog. <laughs> I, I can wait for more grandchildren. Next May is the wedding, and then after that we can talk about kids. <laughs> As the high energy of the little Palmers continues to cruise by <laughs> from John Glenn. Just saw my uh, youngest brother-in-law, Polly, popped his head right here in the window to say hi. Came all the way up from Gross Point to uh, talk and watch the parade. So everything's good. Well, I uh, love to have the family in. I thought you were talking Dakota for a minute. Uh, <laughs> no. That's the other one. No, that's the other one. He, he lives out there in beautiful Fargo, Fargo. North oh, Dakota. Yes. And now we have got the Bay Metro Transit celebrating 50 years, wow. Mike, of providing high-quality public transportation throughout Bay County. The goal is to serve all Bay County residents. The needs of seniors and disabled citizens are assigned to a special priority. Don't let uh, driving take a toll on you. Ride Bay Metro, hashtag. They, uh, they do a wonderful job, Jeff, and uh, they are vital to the community. Looks like we got Bob's towing coming to us next and uh, looking for where that ends up. It's part of the Bay County Fair ah. is what they're doing and they're talking about the Derby. So uh, the Bay County Fair is a 2023 queen is Grace Miller. Uh, King is Tyler Dominowski, Princess is Carly Ruff, Prince is Andrew Dominowski. The fair has horse pulls, figure eight, bump and grind, racing, not midget wrestlers, <laughs> micro wrestlers now. We want to be PC when we're talking about such things. <laughs> uh, right coming by is Jeff is MSU Extension. The 4-H is more than kids on farms or who raise animals. It's the largest youth development organization in Michigan. Each year, more than 100,000 young people ages 15 to 19 explore what interests and excites them as they grow within Michigan 4-H. Uh, looks like now we've got the Garber High cheer team as the senior Garber cheerleader, Caitlin Morris, is riding. And uh, she was the second runner-up in the St. Patrick's Day uh, yes. queen pageant. So I don't know if she was able to swing back and get double duty or not, but uh, another great thriving program. We see them during football season performing at one of the games we do. And uh, fun to see the high energy of the kids. Man, that is a big big group right there. They're all having a good time in this cold weather. The entourage. <laughs> there's, a, there's a dad that's having a blast. Uh, he's a lucky he's leprechaun. A <laughs> <laughs> he's a dance teacher. <laughs> there you go. Hi, kids. I would be confident. Bay County Softball in Little League 
providing Bay County girls the opportunity, Jeff, to enjoy their Little League experience. So forget the big win and focus on sportsmanship, fundamentals, individual and team building and experience, and most important, just having fun. I believe that's out in Munger this year, and it's great because it's not high competition. It's just camaraderie, getting out, getting to hone your skills a little bit with uh, low expectation and just a lot of fun. GFL, better known as Green for Life, Sam is driving the commercial front load truck. We service the Tri-City area for all your commercial needs. And uh, again, Tim beautiful. Tim is driving one of those too. It's our roll-off truck and we deliver it to the Tri-City area for all your personal and commercial needs. So great job by them and followed by another long time entry. Bay City Light and Power. They're keeping the lights on for more than 150 years. Wow. And they were the winners of the 2022 Presidential Trophy as uh, they're out there working on the line. And again, it's part of the line gang, not the chain gang. <laughs> <laughs> I always like it those guys go up there and climb those poles. They are very good at yes, what they do. They certainly are. That stuff scares me. I don't know about you and electricity, but I, I, it's not for me. Up next, Jeff, 98 KCQ, number one for the most country. Boy, and that is another part of McDonald Broadcasting here. One of the very few left locally owned and operated stations. Jets Pizza, better because it has to be. 1901 South Euclid in Bay City over on the west side. High standards for your pizza in Bay City. You want to make your neighbors jealous with the best pizza in town at Jets Pizza. Being square is delicious. Ah, next oh. we stand up and salute oh. U of M Alumni Association of Bay City from the very beginning. Graduates of the University of Michigan have wanted to stay connected to their esteemed alma mater with each other. Upon its first commencement in August of 45, of 1845, there were 11 graduates. We were the following year after that. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't in, let us in. In 1892, there were 11,449 alumni, largest living alumni base in the country. And I don't know if you know this. Tell me. Their football team, they won the national championship Ooh, this year. Natty. Did you know that? Oh, that was a big beauty. I'm still celebrating. <laughs> Oh, up next is our good friends from Village Towing. They have multiple large and small trucks to take care of Bay County and the surrounding area. Woo! Look at the size of that one, my friend. That's what we call a big one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our friend Michelle Cooper in the gang out there out on uh, 13 heading, uh, heading north. They uh, do a wonderful job, and you can get your car repaired out there oh, also. Oh, you're trying to read my wine Sorry. mind now, brother. You've had uh, yep. that repair service. They do a great job. They're fair. They're reasonable. And uh, just uh, another continued thing that they are able to do for the community. They're not all so big. They're also loud, my friend. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Yes, they, uh, <laughs> they team up with uh, Action Towing yep. as well. Next, I believe we're going to have a group from the White Goose Bar and Grill. The service options include takeout, dine-in, and delivery. They feature bar games, fast service, great beer selection, great cocktails and karaoke, along with sports, wheelchair accessible entrance, parking lot, and restrooms. They have dancing food and food also at the bar. It's a casual and cozy atmosphere. Those guys have been around a long time too, Jeff, and uh, always a fun place to go over there and uh, see everybody at the White Goose. That used to be called Lugies back in the day. There was Augies and Lugies. I think it was Lugies. They were a couple of blocks apart, and as a kid, they were both busy. Up oh, next, go ahead. Wirtz Warriors since 1982. The Wirtz Warriors have raised over $8.8 .8 million to support over 21,000 Special Olympians here in Bay in Michigan. Founded by the Detroit Tiger Vic Wirtz. In 1982, the Wirtz Warriors have been riding their snowmobiles through northern Michigan to raise funds for Special Olympics Michigan. Up next is our friends from Skorupski's Family Funeral Home, Jeff, featuring their mascot, Cuddles, the Comfort Bear. And uh, they have a place over there on Pine Street. A new one. A new one. And uh, 
Very, very do nice, and they do a tremendous job. Here comes Cuddles right in front of Jared. Yeah, it is indeed, and we've got State Street Academy offering K-9 to free public charter schools with small classes and a real family feel. I think that is the uh, State Street Academy bus right there. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, that is a Thomas bus, Jeff. I think got I can. I think I can. I think <laughs> I can. Oh, it's not a train. It's a bus. Sorry. You've got Bluebird, Thomas, and International are the three major uh, bus companies, and that is a safety liner by Thomas. Next, we have got Trichel Racing. Brad was the 2020 champion of the Silver Bullet Speedway. So a lot of great racing going on in and around the Great Lakes Bay region. If uh, you're interested in that, it goes on three, four nights a week, and it is all sorts of fun. Next, we got uh, Bayside Buggies, another new service here in the area. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's, those are pretty cool. Bay City's first and only pedicab company in their second year offers shuttle services for the downtown, uptown, and Midland Street business districts as well as mobile advertising for those looking to expand their customer, customer base. Find us on Facebook or Google. Good Fields on Wheels. Saginaw County, Michigan Health Department and Human Services, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services administers dozens of programs to improve the health, safety, and prosperity of state residents. MDHHS works hand-in-hand -hand with the hundreds of partners in local and regional levels. Going by right now, Jeff, Tri-Area Trucking School has locations all over Michigan offering CDL, A, CDL, B, school bus, passenger, endorsement and hazmat training join the best trucking school in michigan today tri-city area trucking school with another entry as well as that's a great way to make uh, make a living and we'll thank some of our great sponsors as i pull my lid back down here consumers energy for being our 2024 emerald sponsor the Shamrock sponsor is McLaren Bay Region, Double Tree by Hilton, Leuna Local 1098, Financial Edge, Liberty Tax. They're the green sponsors, Tri-City RV for keeping us cozy and warm today, <laughs> Thumbprint for our in-kind services, and Bay County TV headed by Nick Page, uh, allowing us to be able to bring this 69th annual St. Patty's Day Parade to you on a chilly day here in beautiful Bay City. A couple of folks still watching, Scott Chenevere, Pat Stodiker at Maxim. Mark Connix missing the parade for the first time in 70 years. And the French family also tuning in today. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Uh, Monsieur. <laughs> Indeed, as uh, we look at now, the In Cahoots Country Dance Club offers country line dance and line dancing to all genres of music. Complete sessions on waltz, cha-cha, country swing, and two-step. See us line dancing on 3rd Street under the lights from Memorial Day to Labor Day and throughout the summer. That is I a, hear that's a lot of fun. great time. I've been down there a couple times, didn't get involved, but I enjoyed a Diet Pepsi were you, while I watched it. Were you shaking your tootsies? Oh, no. No, they, they would have said, pull off to the side here. You got three left You'd feet. You'd be trying to dance and knocking people over. <laughs> Because you got be, two left feet, They'd right? be zigging and I'd be <laughs> zagging. <laughs> and I think now we've got B. Zach Bilters, Bay City's number one veteran-owned roofing company. Start with B. Zach and end with quality. And we also have the... Uh, oh, this, this is uh, the Penny China. Hiltinger and... Bay City Central and the uh, Unified Champions, they just went down uh, to the southwest part of the state and competed as uh, the Masonic family uh, salutes them as well as the others. Yep, and that's right. Shrine, uh, Shriners, Joppa Lodge, Jeff, 315 in the mini cars and uh, celebrating 150 years of Freemasonry in Bay City. Represents the Scottish Rite, York Rite, Shriners, and Order of Eastern Star. Join in our celebration and wish all of you a happy St. Patrick's Day. 
as we watch the chaos and pandemonium. You know what? It's crazy, but I know why there's a block break in between this one and the next. (laughs) Those guys have got to be cold. I tell you, we always said it's easy getting into those cars, but after being in there for two and a half hours, need help getting out. (laughs) You're going to need a... You're going to need a little little drinky poo when you get out of that thing. <laughs> ah, that is just too much fun, and <laughs> that is the vehicle that brings them. It's the Midland Area Shriners Club. As <laughs> Nobody has more fun <laughs> in the parade than they do. Oh, they can see us in here now with the window that we have this year. <laughs> they do have fun. They do have fun. And while we've got a second as well, I'd like to thank our crew. I'm Jeff Doan, along with Mike Wasdala, Nick Page, producing and directing. The guy that gets the extra kudos today, Jared Doan, he's standing oh. outside filming this event. He's turning around right now. He just got a little blow by by that last little <laughs> Shriner car that came by. Caught him a little bit off guard, but he's cold out there, but he's a trooper in his heated Milwaukee jacket and doing it up. And uh, upstairs, Stephen Bauer, he's making sure everything stays rolling fine here on BCTV. And look at across, and uh, people have got the back opened up as uh, they want to watch the parade, but they are looking for the heat to come oh boy. rolling back. They're, uh, they're all bundled up in the back of that minivan, Jeff, wearing his Michigan State garb, keeping them warm. And we've also got a wonderful uh, little uh, Scottish band coming up, so we're going to listen to them entertaining. Yeah, they are wearing the uh, Bezac Builders garb, Jeff. Oh, so nice. It's Bay City's number one veteran-owned roofing company, as you said before. Start with Bezac and end with quality. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, when we're scrambling because we saw the bagpipes coming and we listened to them, but that's why you're uh, the man. You picked about what they were Bezacking and <laughs> Bezacly, and we were able to give them proper kudos. <laughs> It, there's a there's a familiar sign to our friend Jared, isn't it? The Home Depot. Yes, indeed, he's familiar with that. And the finish line, Wanigan uh, Eatery and Pub. There, the Dufresne family doing a great job down there on South Winona. Don't forget about them because in uh, June it's going to be a little uh, tougher to see them, but still worth the trip. They got some of the best sandwiches in oh, town. Oh, they, they do a great job, Jeff, and they got a nice outdoor patio, and the, uh, one of them is uh, actually screened in, so you can go out there. If it's a little buggy out, you can sit inside the screened-in porch. Central Michigan Ghostbusters featuring a Ecto 4A Ghostbuster car. The Central Michigan Ghostbusters, a nonprofit organization that supports through funds, fundraising, and creates awareness of autism. See Facebook for their next appearance. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters, <laughs> indeed. <Dealey. laughs> I think that I watched that a little bit, bit the other night with Bill Murray and the gang. Oh, yeah, it's a classic. (laughs) They are certainly having a great time. Next up, Jeff, is the Downtown Restaurant Investments, revitalizing downtown dining by blending unique ingredients, unrivaled flavors, passionate owners, and character-driven restaurants. DRI operates... Uh, operators are bringing exceptional dining experiences back to downtown communities we know and love. See our restaurant list on our website. And looking now, I think this is Reality Check, yep. Bay City's newest entertainment center, offering axe throwing, free roam virtual reality, foot pool, paint squatter room, rage room, toddler play area, and more. It's located at 519 Washington, corner 7th, right next to Domino's, and Uh, Another great entertainment option here in the beautiful Bay City. (laughs) 
antique toy in the fire museum, Jeff? Uh, it's got uh, two trucks. The first is a 51 Crosley Fire Education Vehicle, originally in service in the Grand Rapids, Wisconsin Fire Department, and a 1922 Ford Model T Prospect Fire Engine, originally in service near Lansing, Michigan. The museum is home to the world-famous FDNY Super Pumper and contains more than 13,200 antique and collectible toys. And I think that could soon be moving there on Washington. They're doing some work on it. Bay City Boat Rental is towing one of their rental pontoons decked out in the Irish swag. We are a new boat rental service coming to Bay City this spring, opening May 1st. You can choose a boat to rent from their fleet at baycityrentals.com or give them a jingle, 989-220. 3677, they're stationed at the Scotty Sandbar. Rise Chiropractic, serve our community with the latest technology and highest quality chiropractic care, specializing in the empowerment of each individual to reach their true health potential by creating a dynamic movement with their standards of health care. Great Lakes e-bikes wants to electrify your ride. They offer electric bikes, every kind of rider, and enable you to find happiness through motion. Come see us for a test drive. Those are very popular. Yes, they are, along with the bird scooters, uh, <laughs> allowing people a ton of other great opportunities and ways to get around beautiful Bay City during the summertime. They are everywhere, and everybody's having fun riding them. I think this might be the Bay County Prevention Network. It's a collaborative organization seeking to help create a safe, healthy, and drug-free community through sus substance misuse prevention, treatment, and recovery. That's a mouthful. <laughs> you did it very well. As we've got a few more folks that we're going to have an opportunity to thank. Wow, we're going international. Shannon Hayner is in Mexico. Nice. Becky Harder. Heather Kish, Rita Kuhn, Sherry Walsh, Mas Masha Swates is in Auburn, and Rex and Vera. Thank you, folks, for tuning in. I bet you it's a little warmer in Mexico than here. Ah, yes. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> I think we've got the Artistry Lounge Hair Studio. It's your gateway to an oasis of luxury, comfort, and class. The salon is a culmination of art, passion, and dedicated service. Team members uphold values of kindness and expertise. Their passion is being your beauty experts excelling in hairstyling. I think we got big Bob's Towing yep. next. Bob's Towing from local and long distance towing to fuel and delivery and flat tire service. Count on us to handle them all. Bob's Towing and Recovery Incorporated is a family owned business. That vehicle on top doesn't look like it needs to be towed. That's a beauty. Yes, indeed. Expressions in Motion Dance is a dance and gymnastics studio accepting students from two years of age through adult. They offer classes in tap, ballet, jazz, hip hop, gymnastics, and tumbling. The next session starts April 8th. Workshops are available in Huna, Hawaiian jump rope, musical theater, ballroom, and social dance. I'd like to see you do the hula. <laughs> I, I did the hula a few years ago during the telethon, and that oh, was I enough do remember for me. That. So we all, we both did that, didn't we? Well, we got a minute. Like to thank Consumers Energy for being the Emerald sponsor for McLaren Bay Region, being our Shamrock sponsor for Double Tree by Hilton, Leuna 1098 Financial Edge Credit Union, Liberty Tax and Loan, and they're all green sponsors. Tri City RV that made us warm and comfy today. Uh, right now, Jeff, our friends from Expressions in Motion going by, gymnastics folks, and we'll try to find you some more information on them. As there the, it is, yeah. dance and gymnastics, accepting students from two years of age to adult, tap, ballet, jazz, hip-hop, gymnastics, and tumbling. As uh, some more of the towing vehicle, we've got uh, Sarah Auto just cruised by us, a team of passionate in individuals working together to make a difference in our organization and our communities. Francisco Reyes is the coordinator, and now Jay's Towing. 
At Jay's Towing, you'll never be just another number. We treat every vehicle like it's our own, and every customer like that matters because they do. Our company started as a single truck and trail and has grown to a full fleet equipped with meeting your towing needs. And we got Bay City Comfort Care Assisted Living offering elevated assisted living. Add life to the golden years with unmatched care and an interactive community. Comfort Care was founded after extensive research into optimal care for our loved ones. Up next is R&R &R Ready Mix and Triple R Trucking. R&R &R Ready Mix has the experience, expertise staff, operating facilities, and equipment to successfully supply large and small jobs throughout Central Michigan and the Great Lakes Bay region. On an average, each member has 25 years of industry experience, Jeff. So there's a couple of companies that have been around quite a while. And uh, I believe they're right over there on Woodside Correct. in Essexville. They, and, uh, they do have quite a fleet indeed and uh, some good looking vehicles. Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, New York, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Canada established in 1982. Well, they got GPS uh, yeah. system tracking, so they know exactly where they're going in case they go to a, a little crazy place. And Midwest uh, Patient Lift LLC, they sell lifts, uh, grab bars, and wheelchair ramps. They also ser sell stair lifts, porch lifts, and ceiling mounted lifts. Call them at 989-402-1942 for a free consultation. Maybe a little Metro Skate coming up here now, I think. Yep. Metro Skate West, public skates offered on Friday and Saturdays from 7 to 9 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday from 2 to 4.30. Book a private party or birthday with us at great rates. Come and hang out with your friends. And most important, have a little fun. Up next, Colby, Colby's Totally Clean Coin Laundry Whoa. for all your laundry and dry cleaning needs with three Bay City locations to serve you. And you know who's the CEO, COO, CFO of that corporation, don't you? Oh, it's fine. It's a fine hour. <laughs> Matt, fine it's fine hour. all day, not just an oh, hour. Oh, it's they do Matt's a great, a great job. guy. He is. They do a great job. Uh, and I take all my stuff over there reasonably priced. The one I go to is right behind the 7-Eleven on Henry Street. <laughs> here, here, comes, oh. here comes Mr. Fine Hour right now. We were just saying <laughs> nice things about this individual. And look, he's got oh, treats for stress. us. So he's stress <laughs> balls indeed and koozies and stuff. Thank you, brother. Thank it's you, always brother. a pleasure. <laughs> Treats for the sweets, <laughs> indeed, as a bad, truly one of the good guys. And now we've got Freedom Boat Club located at Wheeler's Landing. We are the world's oldest and largest membership boat club with over 30 years, count them, 30 years of experience. They take care of the maintenance, cleaning, repair, insurance, and storage. Their flute includes boat winders, pontoons, offshore and inshore. Uh, next up, American Royal Beauties. American Royal Beauties National is Miss Tracy Arthur. National Tiny Princess Eloise Story. Lake Michigan Baby Princess Quera Story. National Cover Model Baby Princess Ashleen Tice. National Ambassador is Lisa Minor. Ms. American Elegant Sophisticate is Victoria Trice. Wow. Wow. That, uh, that's a whole bunch of goodness. And now I've got Bell Landscaping. From answering a phone call to on-site crews, our team provide great, great leading professional landscape company within the industry. They believe that it's the basic groundwork for a successful team that makes each member of our team challenge themselves to treat other with the utmost respect. Up next is the Bay City Academy bus, Jeff. It's a tuition-free K-12 through public charter school, and are now they are now enrolling for the 2025, 2024 2025 school year. Well, Darcy Long is yeah. a great leader over there. Brandon Deacons and Jason Newsham both run the place. Yeah, they run from this end of it to that <laughs> end of it. <laughs> Darcy's got her hands full with oh, those two. I tell you oh. what, she chose them though. Boy. So it's all on her. You got to talk to her. United Financial is next. Explore the world of financial possibilities at United Financial Credit Union. 
They're a dedicated partner for personalized banking solutions and community-centric services. Up next, uh, Bayshore Senior Care is a senior care of Rehab Center on Midland Road. They specialize short-term rehab and long-term care. Currently, they are, are only a facility accepting VA benefits. They would be honored to care for you or your loved ones. And last... But certainly not least. What do you do? Oh, he's he still's not doing very ah, good. It looks like the same guy from last year. He needs another uh, new picker. I tell you what, he needs <laughs> he needs some help. He's not very good. Well, he didn't pick the Lions because uh, he stunk at <laughs> fantasy football last year. So we're gonna have to work with that what? young man we, and uh, see if he can't get off the Schneid that's next what I'm year. Like, five years in a row that that dude's been walking last. <laughs> Again, while we've got a minute, our Emerald sponsor, Consumers Energy, McLaren Bay Regional for being the Shamrock sponsor. Uh-oh, it's the annual salute. Yep. We can't miss it. <laughs> As the trifecta, oh, goodness, come and they uh, give us their proper salute, saying that's all there is. There isn't any more. Oh, what a great job they do every year. We've got some more great sponsors. Double Tree by Hilton, Leuna 1098, Financial Edge Credit Union, Liberty Tax and Loan, and uh, all the other people that have helped make this a great event. Uh, when you see the Bay City Public Safety at the end of the parade, uh, this was a great parade this year, Mike. It was. Uh, very, very well attended. One of the colder years we've had. But, again, it's the first rite of spring, and people just seem to love to come out and make it all happen. Also thank the grandchildren for giving us these uh, <laughs> yeah. lovely entourages so that we could uh, show off our green spirit as well. So, yeah, it was a great day, Jeff. A little bit chillier than we've had over the last few years. But uh, everybody had a great time. Saw a lot of familiar faces. Everybody was smiling. Uh, got some swag from our friends at Colby Cleaners. So, overall, uh, you and I stayed nice and toasty, but we had a great day and uh hopefully they'll ask us back next year well and, and again brother uh, this was a year that we both spent a little time in the hospital yeah. and uh, we're both extremely fortunate that we're still able to be here and make things happen uh very pleased to have you next to my side as always nobody brother in the business can even compare to the job you, you do uh and back at you you are, you are too kind you do a tremendous job jeff we we've been together a, a long time and uh we're still getting along that's <laughs> we still kind of like <laughs> we each do other. like each other for a little bit <laughs> at least three or four hours at a time well and the wives like us to scoot for a oh, while yeah, boot, scoot, buggy. Give it a little break but, <laughs> they do so we they thank do. our brides for allowing us to yep. uh, come and take care of this uh, wonderful event but 69 years strong and uh, the good lord willing uh, we hope to be back for number seven i'm looking forward to it i'm hoping to be here and i know we'll have we'll have them tuning all, all over from mexico to florida to auburn to flint <laughs> hey that that's a fun part about being able to see where they're watching from jeff that's pretty cool and that about puts the wraps on this great 69th annual saint patrick's day parade i'm jeff Doan, along with mike was special thanks to producer director editor extraordinaire nick page jared Doan. Fabulous job outside. He's a wee bit chilly out there, but did a great job. And, of course, we cannot forget about brother <laughs> Stephen Bauer upstairs because he made sure we stayed on the air and made it all happen. Thanks for being part of this great day. Look forward to talking with you soon. We'll see you next year.